beautiful, beautiful snow is falling, beautiful. Beautiful snow is falling, beautiful, beautiful snowflakes are falling, <laughs> crop it down USA baby, crop it down USA, well, this is just a little glimpse I'm just out here enjoying the weather, enjoying the snow. Um, I got a couple glimpses of some short little runs I was going to show you. Um, it's not a full-fledged video. Um, it's basically want to address a few things that I've been asked um, on the comments prior, on the prior video called um, How I Catch Crappies on Cold Days. Um, this is actually a freezing day. But I want to share... I try to use things that are very close to a minnow, anything that looks like a minnow. These right here. If it's uh, if the water is a little darker or tan, I may go with this because it's a little brighter. But I like to stay in this area right here. Um, this one is a little less salt and pepper. Let me see. Like this. Something like that's what I like, like this right here. Okay. Uh, these colors work good as well. These colors work good as well. So basically what I wanted to say is this, um, a few questions about what, how I target and when I choose to go. First of all, I always stay focused on what type of crappie it is that I'm catching. Okay, if I know at this place I'm getting white crappies, I'm going to keep that in mind because I know that white crappies tend to feed predominantly off fish. So if I'm going to use a minnow or if I'm going to use a jig, it's going to, um, obviously a minnow is a fish, but if I'm going to use a jig, I'm going to use something that is close to that. That's just how I do it. I'm not really... Y'all seen my videos. I primarily fish with live bait far as minnows go, okay? I don't, I'm not a big worm guy, but I do love my minnows, okay? And I love getting out there. I go out there in that creek and get chubs all day, get me some minnows all day, and fish with them. I love the naturalness. But there are places where minnows will not work. They just don't work good. And they're generally the places where I get black crappie is where they normally don't work as well. Um, yes, I catch black crappie and white crappie on minnows. Okay. We know, we know they, but we're not talking about what you can do. We're talking about what is the natural behavior of, of both species. Okay. So that's basically what I do. I take a look at what the type of fish I'm catching. Okay. Then I always observe, uh, what time are they biting? Like for instance, some places you won't get them if you go late. You just won't get them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you St. Mary's. That's one place. If you don't go there at the specific time, you won't get them. I'm going to matter of fact, let me show you what I mean. I went to the, I went here late. I went there late and I'm going to show you what happened when I went there late. All right, y'all, this is first light. Yeah, the sun ain't even up yet, but we got a little glimpse of light. Um, I got a call from a boy up by St. Mary's. Uh, he said them crappies are in, so I'm going to shoot up there. It's a couple hour drive, so it'll be totally daylight by the time I get there. Y'all see that? It is uh, 31 degrees right now. I'm trying to thaw the frost off the truck, and uh, I'm going to go ahead on up there. No way. Oh, that's a nice one there. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Let's catch one of them minnows. Uh, Joe. 
Yo, got a halt. Boy, that yeah. color is on fire. Yeah, using that electric chicken. Electric chicken. All right. Indeed. Look at that. You got it, man. Yep. Look at that. I just want a picture. Let's we'll stock you up. We'll stock your freezer up, man. Indeed. <laughs> There's Joe and Rich. Copy the crappie gurus of, of St. Mary's. Indeed. I don't know about that, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big Mike. There he is. There it is. What you catch it on? Minnow. Minnow. All right. Sir. All right. There's another one on black and chartreuse jig. Not too bad, crappie. <laughs> All right, I know I won't let y'all down. Here we go. See that? Da, da, da. Crap down USA, baby. We catching them. Mm. Nice size mm. bluegill on the middle. All right. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Fat though. Yeah. Nice size one. See what you got. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, another thing, if you go to a place early, you may be sitting for a couple hours before they, you, you already know they bite in the evening, okay? They bite in the evening. That's when I'm going to go. The only time you're going to find me going somewhere and I'm staying all day is if I'm learning the place. Once I learn it, I don't fool with it until it's the time I know I'm going to get them, okay? Like I said, this is just a video of, of uh, just communicating with um, viewers and subscribers and people that have reached out and asked me questions about certain things on how I, how I approach it, you know. It's, it's not really, I don't have a dogma. I don't have a dogma, but I do have a point of reference of what I'm probably going to do. If it's shallow water, um, deep water, if the lake is a shallow lake or if it's a deep lake, it, it all determines on all of that. So I'm going to step out and go to the lake I was fishing at. And I'm going to show you how it looks now. Um, and I'm just going to see if it's uh, um, suitable for me to fish. Just in a couple days, that's it'll change on you just like that in a couple days. So. All right, American people, what I'm doing out here, this is the same spot you've seen me at um, in the prior video called um, How I Catch Crappies on Cold Days. Uh, this is more so of uh, me scouting on a freezing day. I'm really not doing a lot of fishing right now. I'm actually just coming and testing. Uh, just like that, it can change. So what I try to do is come out on the cold, uh, I mean, not on the cold days, on the warmer of the cold days and try to catch them coming up white crappies generally can stand more colder top and um choppier water so when i know that i'm at a place that have white crappie i will give it a shot on one of those cold choppy gloomy type days i know people get black crappie the same way but i'm just talking about the general behavior of a white crappie versus a black crappie uh, this is a spot where I normally would catch more white crappie than black, so I will try it on a crazy day like this. Uh, but this is more just scouting. Right now, what I'm telling you what I can tell right now is the water is low, so I'm not going to get anything right here. I'm not going to get anything. Okay, so I just want to touch bases. This is just a video um, of me, just kind of things I do when I'm scouting. I come and check water levels. I come and check and see um, if I can get anything um and the type of temperature right now it's about 17 degrees so um 
you can't expect much to be shallow, but if I can find some deeper water near structure, whether it's close to the shore or not, just because you're close to the, sh the shore doesn't mean that you are shallow. I want you to remember that. Just because you're on the bank don't necessarily mean you're fishing sh in shallow water. So um, that's what I tend to do, especially if you're not in a boat. If you're in a boat, then you get to deeper water, and, you know, this is not even relevant. But if you're on shore and you got a Jones in your bones to go out there and fish, pick one of the days that you can tolerate the weather. Find yourself some deep water with structure. You can pick you a few up and um, get you a meal. All right, so there's just a little glimpse. Um, all right, that's it. Back to the sniper. Back to the sniper. All right. Crappy Town, USA, baby. Crappy Town, USA. I'm freezing out here. But I cannot go without giving you a station identification. All right, y'all. Through the comments. So hit me up on comments, ask questions, um, leave suggestions, all of that type of stuff. But I did step out a couple of days after that and um, tried to see if they were still on and see what was happening. So this is a part of those little glimpses right here. All right. Appreciate y'all. Crappy Town USA, baby. Crappy Town USA. Beautiful. Beautiful snowflakes are falling. Beautiful, beautiful snowflakes are falling. Beautiful! <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Good evening, American people. Also, good evening to Canada and Australia as well. We have learned that we have had some Canadian viewers and Australian viewers, so we want to thank them. Appreciate it. Uh, it may not be evening in Australia, though. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Crappy town, USA, baby! But listen, I want to briefly talk about what we are trying to do this evening. We purposely are going, um, it's kind of like after work before bed crappies, okay? They are time specific, and that is one of the ways that you can uh, definitely catch crappie and catch more crappie in a short amount of time if you learn when they bite, where you're fishing. Because they ain't always, um, you can't always apply this everywhere. But a lot of times when I'm doing scouting and I'm fishing all through the summer and all that type of stuff, a lot of times, all I'm doing is gaining information on where they are at a particular time of year. And then when I want to go, I don't have to spend as much time fishing um, as I am catching. Okay. So that's what we're trying to do. We're going to utilize that. This one spot that I'm going to, um, you've seen me here before. Um, I'm going there because I know they usually bite their evening fish. After three, after four, after five, somewhere in there is where you're going to get them. And they'll shut off after that. So. We're going to try it. Short window. You got If you ain't there on time, you missed the deal. That's how I go. So we're going to try it. All right, y'all. It's pretty choppy out here. We're going to try to work with this wind. We're going to try to work with this wind. Pretty choppy. That's silly. That's silly. What I tell you? What I tell you? I told you they in there. I told you. Look at that, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. I tried to tell my wife I am the sniper. Some names are given and some names are earned. Mm hmm. I tried to tell her where it was. Now, watch. I bet you a little butt over there. Look at her. Mm hmm. Slab. 13 inches. Slab. Throw it out some and let it come into it. Right here. G. Y'all see my wife. You see what she's doing? Getting in my spot before I even get back. Mm-hmm. That's how she be cheating, y'all.
There you go. What you want to do when you pop it, just leave it for a second longer than you doing. I got the biggest one ever. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all wait. Y'all wait. Oh, my God. Y'all want to see this. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> hey, it worked. Yeah. It worked. It worked. Don't hold y'all breath, okay? It's a little bitty baby. I'm going to put him back in there let him grow up, okay? I don't want to grow up. I'm a crappie kid. All right, I got a double jig on here, y'all. I'm trying to see if they're real color specific or not. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh. One second, y'all. Whoa. Whoa. You gotta keep your balance on this water. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Look at that. Moose lips. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all see it. Right there. I got this jig from the Crappie Hurt Locker out of Mississippi. He sent it to me. That's what I'm popping them on right there. All right. A mental right in that spot. It might not be big like his, y'all, but I got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm in here. Sometimes you got to find your own way. T down here finding her own way. I know y'all can't see me. Here I go. T got to find her own way. See that? So my husband down here fishing. I'm on the other end. All right, y'all. Got one. Hold on. Look at that, y'all. That's the third one. I just didn't record. I hooked him in his bottom lip. Uh huh. That y'all, yes. My jig is hung. All right, y'all. My little kit. I got this little thing for one dollar at the Dollar Tree. One dollar. Because if you buy that Walmart or Bass Pro, or anything like that, they're gonna cost four dollars for it. It's just the same thing. And there you go. Well, this is what I'm hooking on there now. I, uh, you see it? It won't even stop moving. All right, American people. Very short run. I'm going to end it. That's why I told you it's a short window. If you come out here needing to fix everything and getting snagged, you'll, you'll waste time catching fish. So we didn't get that many. But um, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. We know we know they're there. And um, I just went to jigs to say forget the minnows. So we got enough for a meal. All right. Got a couple slabs in there. I don't know if you can see them. Up slabs in there. Not that many, but enough for a meal. All right, American people. Here's the deal. That was 60 minutes condensed down into this size video. Um, that was 60 minutes of fishing. Okay. But basically what happened is we got hung a lot, snagged a lot. So a lot of times was used fixing poles. And uh, we went to straight jigging. Thank you. We 
went the straight jigging. But um, it's a small window, so sometimes that's how it's going to be. You got to start finding out where they go, when they're going to bite, where they're going to bite, and just slam that spot until, until, until it's over. And I knew when that last one, I didn't record it. I dropped it in the water, actually, um, because it was getting so dark I couldn't see. Now, I know somebody's going to say, man, why you didn't have your light at five and all that? I'm not, I wouldn't even out there to be out there at night, okay? Because I already know it's going to shut off. A little bit after dark, it's going to shut off. So I'm not even concerned about lighting and bobbing because I'm not going to be out there. Whether they bite or not, I'm not going to be out there. So that's partially as to why um, we went on the end of it because we know it's, it's game over. So that's what's going to probably happen in these cold days. Try to get out there on the days that are warm during the cold months. And that's what we're doing. The warmer days, we're going to get out there. So, appreciate y'all hanging in. Just a little small segment again. And uh, we'll do it again. All right. Appreciate y'all. Crappy Town USA, baby. Crappy Town USA.